Well, if you have been walking around downtown Des Moines, you may have seen a new mural inspired by a famous horror film. Local 5's Larissa Leone joins us with how residents and the city feel about the painting. From red rum to the famous portrait of Jack Nicholson from the movie The Shining, some people call this art, but others call it graffiti. Anin Marugapan lives in downtown Des Moines. I live at that apartment complex right there, Maxwell Apartments. On his walk home, he can see a new piece of art on the viaduct of Southwest 9th Street. I think it's pretty well done compared to the average artwork made on a building. After moving to downtown Des Moines three months ago, McIntyre says the mural inspired by Jack Nicholson's character in the movie The Shining is mysterious and it always catches his eye. I don't know if they're just making a nice reference or just trying to portray something about the city itself or what, but it's, I always, oh, every time I come by here, I always tend to look at it. Though the city of Des Moines isn't appreciative of the latest art installment, the Des Moines Engineering Department released a statement about the mural stating they were unaware of how and when the current mural was placed on the Southwest 9th Viaduct, though they say no permits were requested or issued, saying, quote, We are working with an area business to cover the existing mural. The viaduct is scheduled for construction maintenance in spring of 2025, and any artwork located on the viaduct should expect to see some damage. Nearby business owner of West End Architectural Salvage, Don Sch Short says Des Moines has a graffiti problem, saying he's had issues at his business. We've had our building and our vehicles tagged, and it doesn't really serve a purpose. If you wanted to paint on my building, come ask me. I might let you. Though Short isn't totally against all graffiti. I don't have a big problem with the art on the, the viaducts, the art on sides of buildings, as long as you ask permission. Marugapan hopes the painting of Johnny lives to see another day. If they left it, I'd be perfectly happy with that. Reporting in downtown Des Moines, here's Larissa with Local 5 News.